that the Polygon command is available from the draw drop down menu. So you select it. GK Plus remembers the number of vertices that you had in your previous use of the Polygon command. Let's draw a hexagon. So we'll change that to six and we'll say we're going to inscribe the Polygon in a circle. We could have it circumscribed around a particular circle, but we'll say in a circle. So we we'll say OK. Now we're asked for the centre point. Let's imagine that we wanted to put a water feature in here or some piece of garden art and it would be centred here. So as we drag out, you can see that the six-sided polygon is being drawn. If we put ortho on, that won't influence the angle that you see. You can adjust the angle later on. If we put polar on, does that in affect the angle? And no, it doesn't. So it's quite difficult to organise the polygon to be, uh, if you like, straight-sided like so. So there's our polygon. We could measure the diameter of it from one side of the polygon to another, and we get 3.675. This drawing's done in feet. When we select the polygon, uh, information about the polygon is shown at the left in the properties box. You see there are six vertices through there and details about the current segment and the arc and bulge, bulge radius and so on. So we're dealing, we're editing, if you like, the, the index number five. So there's the polygon. You can use the offset command on it. So we could modify and offset and pick it and then pick through. So that might present, represent some border around and you're ready to place your artwork. If you exit from there and select the two polygons, you can of course rotate those around the center point at will. And now because I've got polar on, you can see it's snapping to that point. But if I want fine control over the angle that the polygon shows, there we are. So that's the polygon command. Pretty standard and straightforward and works in exactly the same way as the polygon command does in AutoCAD.